Hey, welcome to AgroSounds. Uh, my name is Joseph and I'm going to take you through this wonderful session and I welcome you once again to AgroSounds. Be sure to receive uh, more videos from us by subscribing to our channel and um, okay more videos there are more videos agricultural videos uh, that you would really love to see just click on the on the link uh, that will take you to uh, the playlist is just above uh, this screen thank you yeah so having the symptoms of maize legumes is very important for us to to determine uh, that we can uh, take the necessary uh, measures so that we can control it even before the the effects are so severe unto us, and we we will be covering uh, the measures uh, on how to control uh, lethal necrosis disease. Uh, in our next video so feel uh, tagged and subscribe and so that you don't miss out I've, we'll be covering various videos and just continue supporting affected plants two symptoms on all above on all above ground parts plants that is the tassels that is the head the leaves the stems and the core Symptoms are observed on the plants as early as two weeks after germination up to cob formation stage and even during storage of uh, grains. Cob has appear mature, brown in color, while the grains inside are still milky and the rest of the plant is green. Can see from the background it is milky though the, the, the other part of the plant is it was dry and this partial grain or no grain filling formed um, uh, while the grain formed becomes moldy with brown discoloration so you find um, uh, the the maize has been uh, doesn't have so many grains or the, you know, the grains don't form um, the right um, panel pattern uh, so you'll find there are gaps on the maize uh, on the maize cob now the leaves turn bright yellow starting with the upper leaves the upper leaves turn uh, uh, yellow yellow and then it starts coming down more Dwarfing and premature aging of the plant. So you will find your plants are, are uh, aging, although they are still young, you'll find out that uh, they are showing signs of being mature, but they aren't. And um, they age even before you, they have produced the, the head, uh, you find out that the leaves are showing the signs of uh, being old or you can see the old um, leaves and uh, stems this is how it, uh, it they look like um, insect vectors are observed on the infected plants including grapes aphids and stock borers so these uh, vectors are the ones that bring about uh, this uh, a disease because uh, they are the ones that uh, transmit uh, the uh, the viruses that is the maize uh, maize um, maize mosaic virus and uh, the mottling virus and um, also we have this chlorotic and mottling of the leaves they usually st uh, start from the base of the young leaves in the hole and extending upwards towards the leaf tips. So you find uh, that they are losing the color. They lose the color from downwards upwards and losing the color uh, shows that uh, they are really dying because they are not forming any food and therefore it's so great losses to the farm. 
I hope that answered your questions and I hope that you enjoyed being with me and I just uh, like uh, the video and uh, uh, share uh, more of the people need this information and subscribe so that you don't miss out and make sure to turn on the red bell so that you can be receiving uh, notifications every time we upload a new video. Thank you so much. Meet next time.